Photographers and videographers can live without certain things, but they cannot live without Photoshop. It was first introduced in 1990, and every edition has been anticipated. Uh, and now, here comes the next one, CS4. And joining us to talk about that is Kevin Connor of Adobe. Hi. CS3 was terrific, uh, and now CS4. Give us the latest. Well, you know, with every release of Photoshop, we've got to keep pushing capabilities, give people things they couldn't do before. So you'll find some things in there like uh, the ability to do extended depth of field, where you can take multiple images shot at, at, um, at different depths and actually combine them. So it's really good for macro photography. You can get images you couldn't capture with the camera before. But at the same time, we're adding features like that. We're also readdressing some of the core functionality, make it work better, make it work faster. So you'll find that even, you know, old standbys like Dodge and Burn actually give you better results than they used to. And things like moving around the canvas, zooming in and out, we've actually, um, we're now harnessing the power of the graphic processing unit, so you can do that much faster, much more smoothly than you ever could. And Lightroom 2 was introduced a while ago, but it has been wildly popular. How will Lightroom 2 interface with the new Photoshop before CS4? Well, of course they share the files seamlessly. So we've totally updated the Camera Raw plugin of Photoshop. has all the same develop controls as Lightroom, so you can pass those files seamlessly and you get things like localized edits within Camera Raw that you didn't have before in Photoshop. Um, but we've also really improved the integration so that um, you can very easily hand off multiple images to Photoshop for things like panoramas and high, high dynamic range, uh, seeming those photos together. So it's really smooth workflow that way. We've talked about the integration with Lightroom 2. What about the integration with Creative Suites 4? Well, so this is actually the biggest Creative Suite launch we've ever had because it's the first time we're launching all of the Creative Suite applications at the same time, even the video applications. So that's actually 14 different applications launched simultaneously, cross-platform, Mac and Windows. Um, and we're continuing to improve how files get shared across things, such as dropping native PSD files directly into your Dreamweaver layouts, uh, more easily sharing the files back and forth, um, and also tying the interfaces more closely together. So if you do have a workflow where you're going beyond just photography, you're doing layouts, you're doing things for web and print and so forth, you'll be able to work much more smoothly and pick up the other applications more easily. Appreciate it, Kevin. Thank yep, you. My pleasure. Well. Adobe keeps making it easier and easier for photographers. Now with CS4, Lightroom 2, and uh, the multi-faceted uh, Creative Suites 4. At Photokina in Cologne, Germany, Jerry Ower, Calumet Photo News.